Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and today I wanted to give you guys an update on my secondhand capsule wardrobe. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a little while, or I guess if you haven't, back in January, I made a video about my New Year's resolutions. I only had a few, and I've been doing pretty good on the ones that I made for myself, but one of the ones <laughs> that I don't do so great at is, um... Yeah, creating a capsule wardrobe. I said that by the end of this year, I wanted to have a capsule wardrobe curated completely from things I already own or things that I bought secondhand. So it's almost like I do have a capsule wardrobe, but I also like to shop for secondhand clothes. So I have a lot of secondhand clothes. I don't know if I'll ever have a capsule wardrobe is the first thing I wanted to update you guys on, to be so honest. I like secondhand shopping so much. It really is fun for me to try to find new things that I think are cute. And I really love telling people who compliment my clothes, yeah, I bought this secondhand. Like, I like spreading that message. And so that's kind of why I don't think I will end up doing a capsule wardrobe. And you guys have been asking me where am I at in my capsule wardrobe, what I'm going to do, and I definitely wanted to tell you guys that I just like secondhand shopping enough to where I don't think I want a secondhand capsule wardrobe anymore. I'm definitely curious to know your feedback in the comments. Do you have a capsule wardrobe? Do you like shopping secondhand too much to do that? What do you think about that? Is does it make me like a failure of a minimalist because I don't only own like 25 pieces of clothing? I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments. But I did recently buy some like cute little overalls on Poshmark because overalls seem to be in style and I think it's fine to participate in like trends if it's something that you can wear for a longer period of time and that you can find secondhand. I like to shop on apps like that and actually Poshmark is sponsoring today's video so we'll talk about them a little bit more in the future but we're going to be decluttering some things that I have because yes I like shopping secondhand but I'm also a very simple girl. I like to wear very basic things so sometimes I'll buy things that I think are really cute but then not really wear them. Like I'll wear them a time or two but then after that it's just kind of like uh I don't really have another situation to wear this in. I just need like flowy type t-shirts and stuff like that. That's all I really need. And so I figured I could put it up on my Poshmark closet for you guys and you guys could check it out. I could donate all of these things, right? I could go and donate them to a secondhand store. But actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of things that you donate get thrown up anyway because these stores just get so much stuff. They can't go through it all. They can't sell it all. They can't leave it on the floor forever. So a lot of times things end up getting thrown out. You should definitely try to sell your things. That way whoever's buying it takes takes value in that item and they won't just trash it. That way you can make sure that whatever you're getting rid of is actually going to be used. So I think that's where Poshmark comes into really good play for this video and also for you guys. If you don't know what Poshmark is, really quickly, it is a free app. You don't have to pay anything for it. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to download it, but it's completely free. You can just list your items that you have for sale on there and it's so super easy to just, the buyer finds you, you ship out the item, you get the money, that's it. It's very, very easy. And like I said, I am going to be listing these items on my closet, so if you see anything you like, you can go check out my closet after this. But let's go ahead and go through what I have and why I'm getting rid of it. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I think as I go through these things and explain why I'm decluttering them and why I don't need them anymore, it can help you guys declutter your closet it too and hopefully also make some money by selling your clothes. This is the first thing I am getting rid of. It is a sweater um, that's by Express, I believe it is. Yes, it's by Express and it is so cute. And when I got it, I thought for sure I would get a ton of wear out of it because I love it. It's easy to throw on. It's a neutral color. It fits all of my criteria, except sometimes I think I forget that I live in Texas. So I can't get enough use out of something that is a sweater like this because I'll just be way too hot. It also has like a turtleneck. It folds over to where it doesn't go all the way up like a turtleneck, so that's cool. I can't wear this. I don't know why I didn't think about that. There might be literally one month out of the entire year that I might be able to pull this off, and that's not worth storing it for me. So, I have to let it go. Okay, next piece is this one, and I have no clue what brand it is by because it doesn't have a tag, um, but it is this popular mustard yellow color. That is why I ended up picking it out. And it is really cute, it's kind of long. It's not long enough to be a dress, but not short enough to just be a shirt. I'm not sure. It does have these thicker uh, sleeves like this here, and I love this, but again, it's just kind of too nice for me. I don't really have anywhere to wear this. Like, my regular life consists of me going to work, and I have like a regular work-type uniform, just to make my life more simple. And then outside of work, 
this is what I'm wearing. I'm always wearing just like t-shirts, flowy tunics, and things like that. So this is just not really something that I need. Sometimes I go to this place called the Goodwill Outlet. So you can buy things there for super, super, super cheap, but the downside of that is you can't try things on. So sometimes I buy things and they don't really fit, which is what happened with these. They fit, but they're not the most comfortable thing to work out in. So I'm not gonna be holding on to these. They are a size extra large, but I found out that Nike came out with a plus size line, so I have been keeping my eye out on Poshmark to buy these secondhand in a size that would make me more comfortable when I am working out, so I'll be getting rid of these guys. This is an interesting one that I have to get rid of. These are just shorts. Um, they still have the tags on them, and that's not because I bought them. That's because my mom doesn't know how to control herself, and she buys me new things when I don't need them. So these are just some shorts that look like they're from Kohl's. They literally still have the tags on them. Um, if anybody needs some new shorts, snag these, but I don't need, I don't need these, so they're going on my Poshmark closet. Okay, maybe we can all take a lesson in this next piece as well. Um, I bought this again at the Goodwill outlet, so I got it for super, super cheap, thinking I would turn it into something that I would love and I would wear. But, <laughs> have you guys ever seen me wear a crop top? No, no. Even if you watch my vlog channel, and especially if you watch this channel, you're not gonna see me in a crop top. So why did I think that I could buy this dress that's like a little bit too small for me, but I thought, oh, I'll just cut off the bottom and then it'll be okay as a crop top. But this is like a sweater material? <laughs> so why do that? I don't know why I did that. But this is a size medium, um, and I'm sure someone out there will love it because I do love this brand, not because they're eco or ethical, I just like their style, and I have bought from them previously. When I buy things off of Poshmark, I specifically look for this brand. It's called a Silence Plus Noise, I think is how you would say it. They're originally sold in Urban Outfitters, so I don't buy from Urban Outfitters, but I will buy them um, secondhand, like online. Um, this is a great brand, and I think that if you would wear a sweater dress and you're a size medium, you could get a significant amount of wear out of this, but I get overly ambitious about DIYs, as maybe you do too. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Please tell me I'm not alone in that, but I need to get rid of this and it needs to not take up any more space in my house. You know what, you guys? You know what this is telling me? You know what I'm learning from this video thus far? I need to not live in Texas. I like sweaters, I like cardigans, I like oversized, like fluffy things, and that's just not where I live. Why do I not take that into consideration when I find something that I think is cute? I don't know. But this is um, a cute. This is so, so, so cute. And it's a brown, like, I don't know what you call this. Uh, maybe it's a cardigan, a mix between a cardigan and a jacket. It's long, it's this brown color, and it's very, very cute. I'll insert a picture here of me wearing it. I think it's adorable, but again, there's like maybe a month out of the year where I can wear this. And I don't need to keep like 15 things that I can only wear one month out of the year. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. And unless I move, then I don't need it. So one of you guys can, can check this out if you're interested. By the way, if you're watching this and you are going to go check out my closet and you set up a Poshmark account, can you leave your handles in the comments so I can check out what you guys are selling because like I said, I like to shop on there. Okay, this, you know what, literally, literally this is my life. This is a free people dress. It's a long sleeve dress. Shelby, what were you thinking? I wore this once whenever I went to do my video that I did with ingredients, the Zero Waste Grocery Store, and it is cute. Don't get me wrong, it is adorable. And now I'm looking at it like, this might be worth keeping for the one month of the year I can wear this. But when do you wear a sweater, long sleeve dress that's short? In Texas, when do I do this? Someone tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I love this, it's by Free People. I got it at, um, I think, Buffalo Exchange. But, yeah, I just, I can't keep it. I can't. This is just a bralette. A lot of you guys ask me, where do I get bras? Where do I get bralettes, etc., etc. I get them on places like Poshmark. There are a few other online stores that I'll shop at. Um, or just like, you know, things where you can target what you're looking for. That's my favorite thing about secondhand shopping online is whenever you need to find a plus size bralette, you can look for exactly that and find it. That's where I found this. Uh, I just don't need this one because it's a halter top and that's not my favorite style, I've realized. So this one is from, I think it's from American Eagle or Aerie. I just, I don't really like the style personally for me, so I'll be putting that on my Poshmark closet. 
And just one last thing I want to tell you guys. So I am actually in the middle of like making, I said, a work wardrobe. I'm going to make a video about that for you guys in the future. But I have a very strict work uniform. And when I bought this dress, which is going to be my last item for my closet. Um, when I bought this dress, I thought I would wear it to work. But I found that I have a specific style that makes it a lot easier for me. So I haven't been wearing this one and it's just time to get rid of it. So it's gray. I love this material. The material is super comfortable. And if it didn't have this crazy like, what does this remind me of? The conga. I did a dance video or a dance like performance in high school. I was in dance team. And we wore these outfits that were like leotards with long rainbow like sleeves just like these. And that's all I think about when I, when I go to wear this to work. I think I would wear it but not to work. And I don't really have anywhere else to wear it. So I'm going to let this guy go. It is, it's pretty cute. I think if it's someone else's style you guys would like it just not for me so I'll put that on my posh mark. okay guys so that's decluttering all the things in my wardrobe that I do not wear and I do not need I hope it gave you some inspiration to declutter your closet as well because not only will it free up our space and our peace of mind and just simplify our life which I love but you can also earn some extra cash if you sell your stuff on Poshmark so if you are setting up a Poshmark closet like I said leave it in the description box what's your style what's your size let me know I'll come check you out um, and if you wanted to check out any of the items I have listed go follow me on Poshmark as well I'm gonna leave a link in the description to download the app for free and I really appreciate them sponsoring this video super cool of them and I really really appreciate it not gonna cost anybody any money just gonna get you some real cute clothes secondhand and that's an ethical and sustainable thing to do Okay guys, I love you. Let me know if you learned any lessons from this video or if you'd like to see another video like this um, because we could declutter Madison's closet, if you know what I'm saying. She has too much stuff too and she literally just picks whatever's on top of her like little closet drawers and wears that and I'm like, get rid of the other half of things. Just make life a lot easier. Anyway, let me know if you liked this video or not. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot to do my shout out. Let me go grab my phone. I already have one picked out. Okay, so shout out of the week this week is a subscriber called Case. Casey, this is her username. Um, she basically tagged me in a photo that she posted of her remaking my DIY hair lightening spray. I can link that video for you guys. And she also got one of the sunscreens that I suggested in my I Tested Two Zero Waste and Reef Safe sunscreen videos. So I hope she loves them. You guys keep tagging me in your sustainable swaps and one of you could also be the next feature in my video. Thank you so much, Case, Casey, I'm not sure, for tagging me in your swaps. Make sure you're tagging me in any sustainable actions or swaps or anything like that you want me to know about and you want to be my shout out of the week. Make sure you're tagging me and I'll see you guys over on Poshmark. Remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do.